Hi, everyone. My name is Blake Cadwell. I am a hearing aid wearer. I'm also the co-founder at Soundly.com. And today I'm joined by Dr. Amy Saro. And we're going to be talking about what you can do if you have single-sided deafness or you have significantly more hearing loss in one ear versus the other. And this is a question we get a lot, folks, trying to figure out, do I need one hearing aid? Do I need two hearing aids? What are my options if one side of my hearing is, is not operating as well um, as the other? So let's get started with a common question that we hear, and that is, should I wear one hearing aid or should I wear two? Um, let's assume your hearing loss is more significant on one side. Dr. Amy, how do you counsel patients when you meet them and they have this situation? Certainly. What I recommend for patients is if you have some hearing loss in both ears, I recommend that you try two hearing aids because we can always utilize your trial period if you find that you don't get enough benefit from your better ear, but you hear best when your ears hear about the same in both ears. So you're able to localize sounds. The microphones are going to work better in background noise, which is going to help you. So there's lots of reasons why I think it is advantageous to get two hearing aids and then see how you do if it doesn't benefit you, just return that during the trial period. So then if you're someone who has more severe or profound hearing loss in one side, or maybe you're entirely deaf on one side of your hearing, um, what are some of your options and, and how can you treat this? Uh, what are some of the, the technologies that are available? So for single-sided deafness, nowadays there are three options. The first option doesn't involve surgery, and this is called a cross system, which stands for contralateral routing of signal. So what it is, is it looks like you're wearing two hearing aids, but the hearing aid is going to go on your better ear. On the poorer side, you will wear a piece that looks like a hearing aid, but it's really a microphone. And it's going to pick up the sound from that side and send it over to the ear that can hear it. So let's say if you're a passenger in the car or if you're driving the car, this would be a common situation depending on which ear is your better ear where it's hard to hear. So in that scenario, you'll be able to hear your spouse's voice or you know, be able to hear the person that's seated to the side of your poor ear. So that's the first option. The, another option is called a Baja, which is a bone anchored hearing aid. Now this does involve a surgery and there's a, a piece called an abutment that is placed on the poorer ear. And then there's a piece that attaches to that that is like a hearing aid. That is going to send the sound through the bones of your skull, and then that will be received by your better ear. So it's the same idea as a cross, but it's going to be surgically and, and integrated into the bone of your skull. Now, a more recent option is also cochlear implantation for single-sided deafness. So this is different than a Baja, even though they both involve a surgery. For this type of intervention, um, you're actually going to revive some hearing on the side where you have you know, severe or profound hearing loss. And this is something that you won't be able to try in advance with a cross device or with a Baja. We can simulate those. We can put those on your ears or we have a bone anchored um, or a bone conduction device that we can place on there to give you a sense of what it would sound like. A cochlear implant will be different, and we've talked about um, cochlear implants in a previous video, so if you're interested in that, that would be a great resource as well. Just to recap, I think for folks who have significantly more hearing loss in one ear versus the other, uh, sounds like your recommendation is try both hearing aids, see if you get benefit from having two, and then if you're only getting benefit from one, you can always return uh, the other that is on your better ear during your trial period. And then if you're someone who has, um, you know, completely, uh, you've lost all hearing in, in one ear or you are single, you're, you're deaf on one side, then you have these three options. You have a cross, uh, you have Baja or cochlear implantation. So Dr. Amy, thank you for walking us through these options. This is a very helpful and informative. Um, and to you, the viewer, we wish you the best in your research.